All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office, and in my hands, we have this guy right here. This is a backpack plate, level three plus. Now, look at that. Look how thin that is. Sent to the channel by the guys over there at RTS Tactical. So, a couple of the details about this little bad boy before we get into the video where we will shoot this thing with a couple different items. Uh, NIJ level three plus. Um, about four pounds and it fits perfectly in a backpack it comes in three different sizes let's see i got the website pulled up right here 10 by 12 11 by 14 11 by 16.5 now that's a heck of a plate um so anyway like i said this thing's it's 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 a steel plate so it's gonna be a little hefty but this is about four pounds uh fits perfectly in one of my backpacks and I will tell you this, I had a lot of fun shooting this thing. $149.99. I'm going to put the link down below. You guys enjoy. Here comes the video. We're going to crank it out. Y'all be good. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the Milton County Testing Facilities. And today, uh, a couple of things we're going to be talking about. One is, this is one of my favorite backpack of all time. Other than the uh, 511 72 hour, this is the 12 hour, and this guy has done everything for me. We'll do a review on this because I've had it and I've used it for about two or three years now. It's got enough pockets, but not enough pockets where things disappear on you. So, what are we going to do? I'm kind of using this as a sample. We're going to be showing you how this steel plate from the guys out there at uh, RTS Tactile. Well, what it's designed to do, guys, this weighs about four pounds, okay? This is designed to fit into either a water bladder area. There's a stink bug in here. Get the hell out of here. Or your back, or your, uh, what do you call it? Your laptop area. And I'll tell you this, this guy fits perfect right here in the water bladder area and nice padding there so one of the things i was really concerned about and i told my kids i said here hold this and they're like put that in your backpack is the weight when i'm gonna be perfectly honest with you once you put it on your back the four pounds goes away you don't even notice it now the cool th thing about having something like this is just the safe what do they call it peace of mind the peace of mind in knowing that you have something then in the event something bad happens, you know, I don't know, uh, you can still engage, do whatever you got to do. Uh, the vitals here, you still got to protect your head and everything else. You know, if you get in a corner, do this right here. Teach your kids how to protect themselves, guys. That's what I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do, got to do this ass backwards. God, I love this thing. Uh, we're going to take this thing out, as you can see, and I'm going to shoot the snot out of it. Now, I have... The typical rounds that you're going to see in, you know, what do you call those, a, uh, uh, oh, get guys shooting, uh, whatever, one of those things. 124 grain, 9 millimeter round nose, which is going to be what your, most of your dumbasses out there that don't know anything about shooting are going to use. Uh, then we're going to roll in, I'm going to shoot some 9 millimeter, the uh, Fort Scott. That stuff usually is nasty. And then we're going to load up some uh, 556 55 grain because again that's going to be your most popular round for whatever these people may use. I am going to actually put on some better <laughs> eye protection and we're going to sit at about 25 yards and I'm going to light this bad boy up and we'll see. We'll talk about the details back at the shop but let's test it out first. Here we go. Stand by. All right guys so here we are. There's the plate. Right over there somewhere. It's about 20 yards away, maybe 15 yards, actually. And what we're going to do, I've got a camera on this thing. I've got just some 124 grain nose, round nose, okay? going to hit it a couple times if I can hit it. Okay. Let's go check it out, see if we've got any penetration. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said penetration. Hold on, stand by. All right, so here we are. Steel plate, okay, spall. People could be like, oh, let's get spall. No, 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 you're in a backpack. I'm not worried about spall. What I'm worried about is penetration. I don't want to get something go through this thing, right? Another consideration we have to take in mind is that there's nothing really behind it, nothing in front of it. So right now we're just testing out the pure capabilities of this piece of steel. The next thing we're gonna do, <laughs> 80 grain Fort Scott spun copper and that is some nasty stuff i ask a couple other of the uh uh <laughs> these guys other manufacturers what it'll do let's just see what happens and then we're going to light it up with some two two three or five five six okay so next up <laughs> this is the fort scott 
ammunition. This is spun copper, 80 grain. Uh, I'm thinking, I can't remember, it's 1,300, 1,400 feet per second. And uh, soft body armor, it'll go right through it. This is my carry gun. A lot of people used to hate Glock. This is my baby. So let's see if I can still, I still know how to shoot the thing. Here we go. Stand by. Hold on. We're at a private range right now. So this is why we're doing this. So let me go ahead. I'm going to aim a little higher and see if we can get this thing going. Just keep following. You can definitely tell the difference in the impact with this stuff versus the uh, 120. Here we go. always look cool when you do that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm glad you see a lot of light out here because you can actually see the where it hit right there. The pen, and it's got like the copper color. Guess what? No penetration. <laughs> now let's see what it does with some uh, serious stuff. Stand by. All right. I don't know how well it's going to stay up, but at least we'll hit it once with a 5.56. This is a Winchester 55 grain. Uh, 32.50. Let's do this. Stand by. Nothing. Let's do it again. Here we go. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, if there was going to be a penetration, it was going to be there. Um, 556, five, a small round, but very, very quick, very fast. Let's, uh, let's put all this stuff down. Get on down there and get it. All right. Well, here's the uh, Fort Scott. Here's a bunch of that stuff. Nothing. I'm impressed because I've not seen anything that would hold or withstand a 5.56 five, round at that range or that close. Uh, not a long time. Uh, the stuff that was made like two or three years ago. Swiss cheese, man. I'll put the uh, link down below. RTS Tactical. Those guys are awesome. American made out of uh, Florida. So with that, in them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Is freedom is not freedom. This shit's bad. Wow. Great job, boys. Yeah. My kids will be having one of these things. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.